Hey guys, um, Austin Powers here, and I uh, I want to start this commentary off. I know I did this in another commentary, but happy 4th of July, everyone. Uh, I had an incredible weekend, and that's what I want to talk about in this commentary. This has nothing to do with gaming. This is going to be all about me, my life, and uh, what's going on. Uh, I spent my weekend with my friend Liam, uh, who, uh, as I've said before, will probably be on this channel. I don't know if he already has, but uh, I don't think so. Um, and... He's a good friend of mine. We play a lot together, uh, and um, we uh, just went to Vermont um, for a 4th of July weekend. Uh, I personally have never really been, I mean, I guess I've grown up in a household that's kind of uh, not a patriotic household, um, a very liberal household, and I never felt a very strong connection to this holiday. But I know that there are those of you out there who do. And so because of that, I want to say, again, happy 4th of July. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. I hope you had some good chicken and saw some good fireworks. I certainly did. In fact, I had chicken every single day, and I saw fireworks every single night. So uh, that's three nights of fireworks, or maybe it was four. Yeah, no, three nights of fireworks, three nights of chicken, and one extra day of chicken. It was lots of fun. Um, so let's start off. Let's see. Did I leave on Friday? Uh, I think, no, I left on, oh, I can't even remember. Anyway, it's my first day. <laughs> I left, and, um, we went to, uh, my friend's cousin's house, and his, co uh, his cousin and his cousin's girlfriend, and they lived up in this, like, small house, um, higher up, uh, in the, uh, mountains of Vermont, uh, near Stowe, actually. They lived right near Stowe, and they lived in, uh, this really quiet, dirt road next to a covered bridge uh, and a brook and a uh, really nice place and we stayed there for one night it wasn't the most exciting day but it was a beautiful place and a great day a great way to get started um, in fact uh, the first thing we did was we got there and we uh, we went to the bike path nearby um, and they had this beautiful bike path. I don't know if any of you have ever been to Stowe. There's this beautiful bike path that winds all around the uh, area around the town. Um, it was a really beautiful place, and um, they, we, we didn't have any bikes with us, so um, my friend's cousin, he knew this guy at a shop that, that sold bikes, and so instead of selling them to us, obviously, uh, he said, hey, can we use your bikes? And we had four bikes like that, and we, uh, we biked around. We saw yellow spoons, massive yellow spoons hanging from trees. Cool sculpture. Um, we had maple soft serve, which was awesome. Um, and then after that, we came back to the house and we went in the coldest water. No, not the coldest, but almost the coldest water I've ever swam in. And this was fresh mountain water, um, fresh brook water. And um, it was so cool. Um, and so... That night, they had a couple friends uh, over, in addition to who was already there. We had some chicken and some corn, and we had some beers, and uh, just really enjoyed life for a little while. Um, and then we saw fireworks up. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll tell you about that in a second. But um, uh, before I get to that, I also forgot to mention, uh, someone asked recently about a trench commentary when I was going to do the next one, and I, I want to quickly say I'm not going forward with the Let's Play. I'm just going to use Trenched as a back for my com commentaries. Anytime I'm doing a commentary that's not focused on a game, I will use Trenched for now because um, I have some crazy gameplay that I can get anytime now that I'm higher level in the game. It gets crazy, and I can't wait to put some of that up. But this is an older uh, video file just because I didn't have time to get a new one. But um, So, yeah. Uh, so that night, they uh, one of the friends who was over... Uh, and they're all, you know, the, all the cousins and their friends are all in their 20s and above, you know. Uh, they, they came over and they, one of them was uh, someone who worked at a golf course at the uh, ski place in Stowe, um, which is, um, if you've been to Vermont, you probably know it. Um, it's this valley with the ski slopes all coming down towards the middle where there's all the kind of hotels and lodges and stuff. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, there was a golf course going all around the uh the area that we were the area we were on the side of a mount of the mountain and there were fireworks going off from the middle and so we took two golf carts up to this uh hole 
and we saw the fireworks, but instead of being in front of the sky, they were in front of the... Uh, pardon me. Um, they were in front of the mountain which was a really cool difference and uh, big fireworks short show but they were great fireworks and uh, we got to drive golf carts which was fun and uh, that night we went to sleep had a great day and the next morning we were off and on our way to another um, another one of the cousins and this and this guy lived on a lake um, Lake Champlain obviously and uh, he lived not on a lake he lived on uh, a little inlet of the lake um, and he had a boat there. And uh, the funny thing uh, is that we we went out on his boat. We went a little. We did a little tubing, which was lots of fun. But you know, it's not it, not my favorite thing to do when it comes to thrills. Um, but we did a little tubing, and we just sped the boat around a little bit. It was a kind of a speed boat, you know, the kinds that like have the fronts bounce up up from the water, so it's only the backs in the water, that kind. Um, lots of fun, and we had some pizza. And I met another one of the cousins who was kind of the, apparently the party animal of the, the family. And um, he was certainly a crazy fella. Um, anyways, we met him. And after that, I mean, this was, this w we spent a pretty short amount of time there. After that, we went to a house which was um, uh, kind of, uh, I think it was, I don't know exactly who the family member was, but it was an, o uh, an older couple. Maybe it was... I think it was um, my friend's mom's brother, and he was he's he's a rich guy, so they had this big house, and we went there, and um, it was a little bit like kind of like a chill, uh, relaxing experience at first, but then we discovered they had a sauna, which made it even more chill and relaxing, and we spent a good 45 minutes to an hour going in and out of the sauna, into the pool. And oh my god, I can't tell you how much I love a good good time in the sauna. It's like so cleansing, so focusing, so great. And um, we had a great time there. We had some good chicken again. So it was two second night of chicken dinner. Uh, and we saw some more fireworks. But this time, we did, We weren't sleeping over there. We, so we, we drove the car to the next place we were going to sleep at. Um, and we saw fireworks there on their little lake, and we had we had chicken before we left. And we saw the fireworks on their lake, and then we went to sleep in the place that we were going to be sleeping that night. The next day was another very, very, very chill day. It was kind of like a you know more a lot of family came over, and it was kind of like a, a, a relaxing by the lake day. And this is another family, another older couple who lived by the lake, um, and they had a kayak, and so we took that out during the day. And it was just a real, your average relaxed day. A lot of chilling, a lot of talking, schmoozing, and all that. But that night, man, that night was going to be memorable for a while. Um, me and my friend Liam, uh, and, and then my friend's sister, and then the two cousins, or the cousin and the cousin's girlfriend that we stayed with initially, we all stayed by the lake for the fireworks, and we were going to take the boat out, um, or the boats. Liam was going to go in this little dinghy, you know, the ones that you see going out to pirate ships and coming back. I was in a kayak, and then the other three were in a rowboat. We went out, and we started seeing the fireworks, and then the rest of everyone else, including a baby, a cousin, and a cousin's wife, and then uh, some, some older people, just like, who are all, I mean, not older, but, like, older in the family, like, not cousins, but, I guess, uncles and stuff, were all out on this point looking at the fireworks. Uh, they had walked there. And so we were out in the middle of the lake looking at the fireworks and suddenly this cloud comes over and we realize, oh, damn, we are, uh, we're about to experience a big storm. So we started pulling back and we got in as quickly as we could and we, we went inside, we put the boats away and then we realized, oh God, if the rain starts, they're going to be stuck out there. Um, so we went inside and we had, <laughs> uh, we had some drinks and my uh, friend's cousin saw that there was an open uh, convertible BMW sitting out in front of the garage. And this was this uh, this richer guy's BMW, and apparently he's not, you know, the most exciting character. He's a little bit of a, a less happy guy, apparently. And um, so they were like, oh my god, he's going to be swearing the whole way home. And then we realized there was also the baby was out there too. And so we were, we were kind of worried, but we were chilling. 
um, we were chilling in the in the little like uh, um, deck patio thing with screen windows so you could hear the rain and it started pouring rain so hard um, it was crazy but um, we, we started to see people running up we realized and well actually the first person who ran up was another one of the cousins and his baby in his arms and he's saying like oh man it's bad it's really bad we got everyone's like coming back as quickly as they can and this older the uncle is pissed about his car because he thinks it's dead but uh turns out um the cousin that was with us initially on the boats had taken the car and brought it into the garage to save it from the rain thank god um and so uh they were all coming back like you know in a couple in small groups depending on like how fast they got back and uh it was the highest priority uh, which was the baby of course so the little baby came back first and um uh, actually it's more like a toddler but um anyways me and Liam decided all right well we're gonna you know benefit from this awesome rain and we're gonna just take our shirts off and run around outside so we started running around in the rain going crazy um and we found this puddle like a big puddle uh kind of like deep from the rain it was full of like mud and so we were like army crawling through it and yelling all sorts of stuff and we found this big bucket and we were throwing our heads in it and like splashing water around we got soaked and we were taking showers from the like the gutter water <laughs> like pouring off the roof it was so much fun running around in the rain lightning was striking like near us and there was well not near us like to the point that we could see it like within our distance but like in the area um and there was thunder and it was just loads of fun and big thrill and lots of fun we crashed that night um, I don't know actually my my friend Liam I don't think he slept that well that night but uh, I crashed and we woke up the next morning and we didn't leave too early but when we did leave we went to this um, beautiful little um, set of cabins and a barn that um, the the cousin with the baby owned called Shady Acres and it was um, this nice place near um, which mountain was it near? Uh, well, I can't think of it right now, but it was near, oh, Jay Peak. Um, and they rented them out. And so we stayed there, and they were pimping out a golf cart for this little little parade, little local parade. And that was fun. Um, and after that, we had a chicken lunch. Um, so that was, uh, that, was, that was fun. We had a chicken lunch and with some, some chips and some bread and some chicken and some coleslaw and... Um, we hopped on the golf cart and we went to the local police station and took a path behind it down to this like brook, um, another brook. And this one, there was two streams coming into the same area. Um, and we went up one of them and, and this was like a popular spot apparently um, called Second Hole where there were these big uh, rocks that you could jump into this deeper water with the current in it. And, uh, and I had gone cliff jumping recently at a quarry, an old abandoned quarry. Maybe I'll post a video of that someday on my channel, but um, it, lots of fun. 45-foot cliffs, 50-foot cliffs, and there was an 80 and 62. But um, at this place, there was a, a, like a 25, 30-ish, and then there was one that was maybe 35 to 40-ish. To um, and I jumped all three of them, had lots of fun, and we tried to, me and my friend's cousin, tried to get up to this waterfall and there was these like little stacks like these little smaller waterfalls all the way up to the big one and we we're helping each other up and and like fighting this ridiculous current um it, it was crazy to say the least uh jumping from the cliffs and doing that it was a fun uh big thrill and an awesome banner way to, uh, and an awesome weekend and i uh if liam if you're watching this video let me just say again thank you so much awesome weekend i hope you had just as fun of a time that i did and uh i uh i also i want to say uh to all of you who are watching this video i hope you had a good weekend post in the comments what did you do what was your highlight um do you have any good chicken and um happy fourth of july everyone uh i know i'm a bit late on that but happy fourth of july i hope you enjoyed this trench gameplay it's a little bit more tame uh earlier on in my progression but um I should have some crazy gameplay coming up soon for that. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, supporting the channel. Check out my other video, which I posted this t today, um, which is a Battlefield 1943 commentary. Thanks for watching.